Hi, I am Ishank and in this video we'll discuss if you should move abroad after high school or if you should wait till graduation or maybe even a year of work experience after graduation. Now this video is going to be very interesting. As an example, I am going to take person A who moved abroad after high school and a person B who moved abroad after graduation and we'll see exactly how their careers part out if moving abroad at that time was a good decision for them or not. You can compare both these examples and choose for yourself. Now for you to properly analyze this situation, it's very important for you to see if there is any utility in going to college. Now this is going to be very interesting subject. You see from 1980s to 2022, the salaries of people have gone up by 217%. Whereas by comparison, the college fee has gone up by 1200%. Isn't that crazy? 90% of people who graduate from college do not actually do anything related to the degree that they studied. And I'm pretty sure you would agree if you have studied in a college or even in high school, you would agree that most of the stuff that they teach there has nothing to do with anything that you do in real life. Not only is going to college very expensive, but it's vastly disappointing. Just as an example, on an average, anybody who graduates expects to make about $104,000 a year. And the reality, on an average, every graduate makes just $54,000 a year, close to half of that. The funny thing is banks would not give you even a $20,000 loan just to start your business, but they would happily give an 18 year old $100,000 loan for this fancy degree. So unless you want to be a doctor, a scientist or a lawyer, going to college is of no utility. But what has this got to do with anything about the topic of the video? You see, if going to college is of no utility, it doesn't make sense to spend extra time in college. Would you spend three years in college or would you spend six years in college? This should be a no brainer. You see, an average career lasts for about 40 years and one of the biggest expectations from any career in any field anybody chooses is that it will help them make more money. But the crazy part here is only the skills will help you make more money. The degree has nothing to do with it. Think of all the famous and the richest people in the world. Lebron James, Virat Kohli, your favorite actor, Shahrukh Khan or your favorite musician, let's say Justin Bieber. They all make money because of their skill. It has nothing to do with their degrees. You don't even care which college or which school did Virat Kohli go to. All that matters is if you can score well. Even for the careers where you need a degree, let's say a doctor or a lawyer, after a certain point of time, the amount of money that you make has everything to do with the skill that you have. Just as an example, you would never go to a doctor because he went to a fancy college. You always go to a doctor because you believe he has the cure to your disease. The same way you always go to a lawyer if you believe he can win the case for you. See, it has everything to do with skill, but nothing to do with degree. So now that we have established why going to a college doesn't really make sense, I hope by this time you would have realized what my final verdict would be. But anyway, let's go a little deeper into the video. Now, a lot of people here, they get confused when I say you need a skill instead of a degree. What the hell do you mean by a skill? As an example, let's say you go for a computer science program. Instead of learning everything in theory and passing the class, the most important thing is you actually know how to code. That's what a skill is. Degree versus skill, think of it as a difference between theory versus practical. If you go to a sales and marketing course and study that, it's much more important important for you to know how to actually sell and market instead of just clearing your classes and going through the course. So the cheat code lies in choosing the cheapest course that you can find to move abroad, which is also a two year course. So that way, not only do you save money, but you also save time at the end. Now, what do you do in those two years is you build a skill just as an example, something like copywriting or digital marketing, or let's say even web design, you build your skill and then you make money based on that. So not only did you save time, but you also saved money. Now let's take the example of person A who moved abroad when they were 18. Not only did they choose a cheap course, but it was also a course, something related to what they had to do. Let's take this example where the person chose the course of web designing. Now in the two years of that course, the person chose web designing and actually built a skill around that. The two year study course gave that person a three year work permit and the person got their PR in two years, which means at 20 to this person has their PR and is also earning a decent amount of money just because of their skill. Now, it's very easy to make $10,000 a month if you are somewhat decent at web designing. So this person is making six figures at 22. By the time this person is 25, this person will have their citizenship. They will be making close to $300, would not be paying too much of tax because this is a skill and you can start your own agency and they are set for life. Now, let's take the other example 
example of this person B who studied in India till that they were 22. They graduated in India and then they moved abroad, chose a similar course, web designing, a two-year course, let's say at Lambton College, that gave them a three-year work permit. So they moved abroad when they were 22. They studied for two more years and by the time they graduated, they were 24. They worked for another two years, got their PR. They were 26 when they got their PR. They got their citizenship when they were 28. And the same person is making the same amount of money, 300K at 28. So person A is making $300,000 a year at 25 and person B is making $300,000 at the age of 28. Three years is a big amount of time. Now, there are a bunch of people who believe age is just a number and life is not a race. I think that's all bullshit. It's not practical. It's just something people say to make themselves feel good. Try not to believe in these lies and take accountability for your life and I promise your life will be better. So if you move abroad early, you realize not only do you save money, not only do you save time, but you also make a lot more money. Now, the biggest concept here that people don't really understand is the opportunity cost. Yes, you save three years of your life. And even if you make the similar amount of money, just imagine that. Imagine what you can do in three years. Imagine getting stable in life at 25 is vastly different than getting stable in life at 29. You see, when you get stable at life later on, you'll marry later on. If you marry later on in life, you'll have kids later on in life. By the time that you have grandkids, your knees won't really work. You might be on a wheelchair. You might be pretty old. Health would not be on your side. And neither will time. And both of these things are very important if you want to enjoy your life after you're 50 years old. Most of the people have this weird impression, a weird pipe dream is sold to them that their career is everything and that is going to last for a lifetime. First of all, most people don't even have a career. 80% of people, they hate their jobs. So that eliminates most of the population anyway. For the remaining 20% of people, your life is not going to be fulfilling after a certain age if you just believe, if you just depend on your career. You see, after you're 45, your main source of happiness or fulfillment comes from your family. It comes from your kids and it comes from your grandkids. And by the time that you have grandkids, if you're not strong or healthy enough, you can lift them, go to their soccer games, play with them. What good is life? So do not believe in this pipe dream. Have urgency in what you do and remember to succeed as soon as possible so you and your next generations can live a fulfilling life. See, making money is not tough. It's not rocket science. And even doing well in life is not a complex formula. People unnecessarily make things complex for a very specific reason. And this is going to blow your mind. So instead of doing something simple and boring consistently for a long period of time, people instead choose to believe that the solution that they want is complex. And if they don't succeed, it gives them a reason to believe that since the solution was complex, that's why they did not succeed in life. So do the simple things instead. Learn a goddamn skill and work really hard to be better at it and then make a lot of money. Save time. One of the major reasons people believe they need to go to college in 2022 to succeed is because maybe it's socially acceptable to go to college, get a degree and still be average at your life. Because this way, if you do bad at life, you can really blame your degree and not yourself. So instead, learn to take accountability and fix your life. I hope you learned something new out of this video. Until next video, aim higher, be better and I'll see you soon.